Okay, so um, let's go ahead and um, work with one other thing before we get into some of the editing things, and that's working with um, just creating some new albums in a way that, that Picasso just sort of gives to you, and that's working with, with your start and favorite ones, because this might be something you're going through when you, you know, you're coming back from a long vacation, and you just wanna be able to say, okay, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one, and then basically it'll put it into a special folder that has all of your favorites in there. So let's say I'm gonna click on this one, okay, and I want actually, it's called Star It. I'm gonna come down here, and I see this little white star, it says add, remove star, and nothing appears to happen except for the fact that I now have this little star on the right-hand side here. Now I'm gonna choose this one, okay, another star, choose this one, all right, another star, click on that one, another star, oops, I double-clicked it. All right, see, no harm done there. So then I have these four photos. Now, I want us to go up to our albums, and you'll notice here, it says I have four albums. I'm gonna click on this to, um, to actually uh, expand it. And you'll see I now have starred photos. Okay, I have 84 in there. Okay, so there's actually a bunch in there that I've starred in the past. Okay, and then here are the ones that I've now put in there. Okay, so you'll see that, that you probably would want to actually uh, get rid of, of some of the ones if you're gonna just create a new starred section okay, and I'll show you actually how to remove photos in just a moment all right it's pretty straightforward with that but let me just let me just uh, finish this off so um, so that's very very simple you can just kind of add those on there now if you don't want to actually just go right to your starred photos you can create a new album all right so like I showed you you can go to file and new you can come down here choose new album and you can also click on this icon right up here and this comes up all right, so I'm just gonna say furniture fix. All right, and then I'm just gonna say okay. And just like that, I now have this furniture picks uh, album that comes up, right? And now it's got a zero in there. Now, there's a couple different ways to move those in there, okay? Uh, one very simple way is just to click and drag, and now I've got it both in here and inside my folder, all right? Not too much difference there, right? So you see it's very, very, very nice and easy. Like I basically just click, drag, put it in there, and then this stays here, and now I've got one folder, one photo in that, in that album. Okay, and I can do the same thing with this one as well. Now if I wanna select more than one at, at once, okay, if you're on a Windows, you hold down Control and click. If you're on a Apple, you hold down the Apple key or the Command key, and then click, right? And now you have all three of them selected and then I can click and drag, wait for it to highlight, and I let go and now I've got four pictures in there. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward and now I have those in there. Now if you wanna delete anything from um, either a folder or from an album, it's quite straightforward. You just click on it and then you find the delete on your keyboard and you'll see a message that comes up, are you sure you want to remove the selected image from the current album? I can click on remove image. If I don't want them to ask me again, I can click on that. Okay, I'm just gonna say remove image for now. And now, not only is it deleted from here, but when I go back to my folder, is it gonna be in there? Yes, it's still in there. Because remember the difference between albums and folders. Okay? Now let's go ahead and continue working in some of our edits. This is where Picasso gets nice and fun. Um, so the best way and the easiest way and the most simplified way of actually getting into the editing room within Picasa is to simply double click on a picture. So you click twice on it and now you see you're in the dark room, so to speak, for your photograph that you want to work with. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look on the left hand side, see what we have here. We have the ability to crop, straighten, adjust the red eye. Um, I'm feeling lucky to explain a little bit and a few other things and we have also two other tabs that we can work with when we're editing our tuning which is basically working with our our lights and shadows and also our color temperature and also our different special effects and these are pretty fun as well all right so let's actually just start off with our basic fixes and let's work with our crop we're not going to get into all of these things I encourage you to experiment on these on your own okay so let's go ahead and go to crop and you'll notice that the left side changes and says select a dimension below and then click and drag on the image to select the portion of the image you wish to crop. 
Now, this is just one option for you to do it. So if you click on the drop down, you'll see you have all these different things, manual, blah, 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 all these different uh, dimensions that you can work with. Manual allows you to just override any of these dimensions, right? Where these dimensions will now, if you, check, if you select five by seven, it will stay with that particular dimension of five by seven. Now, don't, don't misunderstand the fact that it's always gonna be a five by seven. It's more about the dimensions in this case. All right, so you can actually have something that's, you know, 10 by 14 with five by seven. Okay, just a matter of, of the aspect ratio of it. So think about it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and just start off with the manual first. And all I need to do at this point is click and drag in whatever fashion I want to basically draw out a, a box around the area that I want to crop, all right, that I want to actually see. And everything else in this gray area will no longer be there, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and come back here. I'm gonna click on preview. And it gives me a two second preview and then it comes right back. Like, well, you know, what? maybe I want this lamp in here. So I come right to the edge. I click, drag a little bit to the left. And then I do preview again. And then just like that, I've got a different photo. Okay, very simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply now to commit to those changes. And then I've got my photo. Okay, now let's say for example, you have decided you do not want this crop. You decided, oh goodness gracious, that is not, that's not at all what I wanted. God bless the undo feature. Now, not only God bless the undo feature, but God bless the undo feature within Picasa because they have created it so you can come back anytime. And I say anytime, I mean anytime after you close Picasa, anytime you close down your computer and still undo something you've done. And this just isn't for crop, this is for doing any of these effects, any of these other features. It remembers everything you've done for that particular photo. So you can always undo and I can also redo. So I can go back and forth with these. So I can do a couple other things here. You know, I can do I'm feeling lucky. I can do auto contrast. You're not really seeing too much stuff here. Let's go to effects. All right, and this is just for the for the sake of uh, let's just adjust the sharpening a little bit. You can see a little bit happens there. Okay, change it to sepia. All right, very good. So now I've just done about what five or six different things. I can always undo, and it tells me exactly what I'm doing. Undo sharpen, undo auto contrast, undo I'm feeling lucky, and it takes me back all the way to the beginning. Okay. So now we're back to our original photo. All right, so keep those things in mind and um, that'll be very, very helpful for you.